Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about food chain. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So basically, food chain is a linear sequence of organisms through which nutrients and energy pass as one organism eats another. Each organism occupies a different trophic level. Only 10% of the energy is transferred to each trophic level from the lower trophic level. And the rest of the energy is lost in the environment. And this is called as 10% law or 10% rule. So what are the components of food chain? The sun, producers, consumers, and decomposers. The sun. The sun is the initial source of energy. Producers make up the first trophic level. They utilize the energy from the sun to make food. Examples of producers. Autotrophs are producers. Autotrophs include phytoplankton, cyanobacteria, algae, green plants, etc. Next is consumers. They are dependent on producers. They include herbivores and carnivores. Herbivores are actually plant eating animals and they are the second trophic level. Carnivores are animals that eat other animals and they are the third trophic level. Next is decomposers. They get energy from dead organisms. They are the last stage in the food chain. They convert organic waste materials into inorganic materials, which enrich the soil with nutrients. Let's talk about the types of food chain. There are mainly two types of food chain, the grazing food chain and the detritus food chain. Grazing food chain. Here, the plants are the producer who produce energy. The grasshoppers are the primary consumers who eat plants. The mouse are the secondary consumers who eat the grasshopper. The eagles are the tertiary consumers who eat the mouse. When the eagle dies, decomposers such as bacteria and fungi break down the body and turn them into nutrients. Let's talk about detritus food chain. Detritus food chain begins with dead organic materials. So decomposers like fungi and bacteria, they secrete digestive enzymes that break down dead and waste materials into simple inorganic materials which are subsequently absorbed by them. Small carnivores such as maggots eat those decomposers and maggots become a meal for bigger carnivores such as frogs, snakes, etc. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.